The motion filed on the 16th of May 2023, the Chief Respondent does Kabir Masari pray this court to grant him the following relief. One, an order of this court dismissing this petition in its entirety for one of the division. Two, an order striking out the name of the Chief Respondent applicant from this petition for non disclosure of any reasonable course of action against him. And five other order orders are this honorable court may deem fit to make in the circumstances. The grounds for the application have been stated. I've also considered the submissions of counsel. Now, section 133, section 133 of the electoral of defense persons who are necessary parties in an election petition. Generally, necessary respondents in an election petition are the persons whose election or return is complained of and the electoral body that conducted the election. This section 133, subsection 2 and 3 of the Electoral Act 22. Those are what are termed statutory respondents. It should be remembered that election petitions are three generis. As, as three generis and is considered strictly regulated by statute. That's why a person does not fall within the category of statutory respondents. They are not registered parties in an election petition. Uh, see the cases of Agbere and Mimra, Buhari and Yusuf, ATC and TDP. That's in Waziri versus Gaidam. The Supreme Court held a court. From the above, I have no difficulty in going along with the submissions of the respective counsel for the respondents. That section 137 sub 2 and 3 of the Electoral 2020 has no room for the joinder of the faith respondent who neither won the election nor performed any role as electoral officer or agent of the third respondent in the election petition challenging the result of such an election. And even no relief was claimed against the, fifth, the said faith respondent and indeed he had nothing to gain or lose in the petition of a safe close of court. Indeed, a holistic reading of the facts of this petition does not disclose any complaint against the civil respondent. The only fact that relates to the civil respondent relevant to the petition is the act of withdrawal of his candidacy as the running mate of the third respondent. That is an act that occurred within the pre-election period, therefore cannot amount to any act done by the civil respondent at the election. It cannot therefore ground any complaint by the petitioner against the civil respondent in an election petition. It may be relevant in a pre-election matter, but not in an election petition. It is therefore my finding that there is no any claim on the fifth respondent. In other words, the relief sought in the petition will not in any way affect the fifth respondent as he did not participate in the petition either as a candidate or agent of the second respondent and no declaration was made in his favor by the first respondent. In that respect, I hold that the objection of the fifth respondent on this ground uh, has merit. Accordingly, I order that the name of the civil respondent be struck out of this.